rejecting the femoral vein, the heroin addict, the IV heroin addict has four months to live. So don't go down that road. You said blow up the vein. What? Literally? Well, literally. If, if you know, if you look at the veins in your arm, no, not 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 literally. But but you so you 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 inject here and then you inject here and then you inject here and then you inject here and you're trying to keep from destroying the vein. Mm -hmm. Well, how close together can the injection sites be? And how many times can you hit that same vein before you permanently damage it? And, and you know, you've got veins here, you see veins here, you've got this arm, you've got that arm, you've got your leg, you, and it's like, oh my God, I'll never run out of places. But when these people start injecting multiple times a day, they very, very quickly run out of places. So what is it, why do they, doesn't it heal? But it does not heal? It, do, it does not, the, 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 you're traumatizing it too much for it to heal. I mean, if somebody punches you on the shoulder, it'll heal. It may hurt for a day, but it'll heal. But if they punch you on the shoulder 20 times, and then wait an hour and punch you 20 more times, and then wait an hour and punch you 20 more times, eventually you're going to damage something. And that's what happens is they do damage they can't heal. And the, the term is the vessel collapses. It can be scar tissue. Uh, the uh, circulation becomes impaired. And then some of it depends on what's in the frickin' heroin, what, it, what, it, what it's cut with because it's, it's never going to be the pure drug. 38. Okay, so that was the right brachiocephalic vein. To remind you, this one, number 12, is in the superior vena cava, this fork, where we have the left brachiocephalic vein and the right brachiocephalic vein. The next fork was the right subclavian and the right jugular. So I'm pinning here the right brachiocephalic. 38. Right. Okay, left femoral nerve. Right femoral nerve. Vagus nerve. Probably can't actually get a pin in it. But. A little string like structure in the right. Right vagus nerve. A little string like structure. Is that it? Now. Obviously, when you test, there can't be this many pins that you can't see it. Okay. So uh, you know, don't don't freak out about that. I mean, when, when you have the practical, um, on a percentage basis, you know, say 20% of it's endocrine system slides projected on the screen. Uh, 30 or 40 percent of it is parts. 50 or 60 percent of it is this. Well, so maybe there's 15 to 20 pins. How many pins are in here now? 42. Okay. So you know, it, has, it has to be pinned so that you can see it. You can see it without touching it because I can't have everybody coming in here like this. The biggest reason I can't have you doing that is because now when you touch your paper, you're not going to be giving it to me. You're throwing it away. Okay, I'm way too OCD to have that crap put in my hands. So you know, my guess, I have to freaking sterilize this just because pins were there. So it's got to be where you can look at it and see it without touching it. Okay? <laughs> it's got to be manageable, so, so it can't be this many pins. All right, let's learn.